Hello everyone, welcome to my sprite tutorial part 1. I'm going to go over how I would go about doing a sprite on in Blender. Uh, from movement to idle animations. And just start off, this is a plane. I uh, reset it, so it's just... Uh, it takes up the whole texture. And set texture or draw type to texture and... Right now, I drew just a little guy, really simple. I'm going to enlarge him using the two times rule, and that's going to be 18, or it's going to come out to 81 if I do it correctly. And that's the guy. We're going to save it. Uh, I'm just going to save it to my desktop, make it easy, and I'm going to save it as one PNG. So I'm going to go back to Blender. I'm going to open, go to my desktop, I'm just going to hit the time one to make it easy, press one, that PNG, we have it. Now I'm going to go to texture face, I'm going to set our active face alpha blending to alpha, and then we got a little dude. So, just scale it like that a little bit, make sure it's like your sprite, like you wanted it. And, sweet gonna change the background color really quick alright that's our guy now we're going to want to give him physics but first let's go to the front view press N to bring up the transfer properties and I'm just gonna flip him towards the camera so 90 degrees on the x-axis and add a cube this will be our ground and since I made him come off a pixel from the side we're going to give him bounding boxes and that will help all together with our collisions so right now I'm going to go to object set it to wire so it, it's always in wire mode so we can see our sprite and then put it at his feet up and just try to cover his whole body I like to keep it a little under and then of course we're gonna select our character parent make sure you set your plane to no collision so the box doesn't get uh, all messed up we're gonna set it to dynamic set the box to you can set it to convex hole if you really want accuracy but I'm gonna set it to box right now and no sleeping and let's test Alright, good. So, set the box to invisible so it's not white, and we have our character. So, make sure collisions are good, he's not going through the box at a certain height, that, that kind of thing. And, let's uh, just, sorry, my mouse is acting. Now let's just get simple movement going. I'm going to set it to my WSAD keys just what I prefer you could set it to arrow keys anything you want and I'm going to use line V because that's what I prefer I'm gonna hit L so it's local and let me find the right value there we go and to fix all the sliding I'm going to go to uh, general movement damp and put it up a good amount and it's better so I'm gonna set that to 2 just get a good speed going and I'm going to do the same thing, it's just I'm going to sign it to A and make him go in the opposite direction. And next I'm going over how to do the flip, so he turns in the next direction. People are asking about that, um, and it's how I did it for the gun and the enemy in Agent Atomic Action Fist. So, now I'm going to go, let's uh, get this centered, everything. So that's on the Y. Clear. I'm going to clear so he comes back. I doubt you'll have a problem. I just messed up at first. And click on your plane that has your sprite on it. We're going to make sure you don't do two-sided. You actually duplicate it. Bring it 
like a little. It's a 2D game, so it can be anywhere. I just like to keep the difference just in case I hit remove doubles, that kind of thing. Flip normal. And then we are going to go mesh, mirror, and then we are going to do the X axis. And then, sorry, flip again. So now he faces both directions. And next, what we're going to do is press I. We're going to do scale. Then on the next frame, we're doing on the Y axis, negative one. Oop, wrong. Sorry. X. And then we hit scale. So now he goes back and forth. So we are going to connect this, select both. So they're both in the same logic window. We're going to IPO. And sorry, I made a mistake. We are we have to do two frames as one so we can play the IPO. So one, two, still on the same, then flip on three, and then four, press scale again if you want to, just see. So this will be our left direction. This will be our right direction. And we are going to connect it back to the box, have the ones, uh, the keys we already defined, so D would be right, and A would be left. So we go to front view, and now he goes back and forth. So we just figured that out. Um, the plane is in the wrong, it's in it wrong again. Sorry. My mouse is really having trouble with Cam's studio. So. And there, he turns back and forth on the ground. Just what we're in. Okay. So we're going to close these up. Um, now to work on some animation, we're going to go back to GIMP and remember what you set your max to. So I set it to 81, so I'm going to bring it back to 9. And we're just going to do a simple walk animation. Uh, only only two pixels uh, different. So this is an easy way to do it. It's just like he's lifting up his leg. And we are going to scale up again to 81. The size just helps it from pixelizing and blending. Uh, blender engine because it has trouble with sprite work we're gonna save that as two and then we are going to do the opposite with this leg and we are going to save it as three all right good oh it's still I need to scale it first sorry now go back to blender let me change the frame so it's back. Uh, since we're changing our plane, we're going to create two or three replace mesh actuators, which is add object. Go to change add object to replace mesh. And I'll talk about this in a sec. So just do that three times. So we have three of these going. If you want to label them to help you later, you can. I'll do it now. This is stand. This is left. Or let's uh, keep it consistent right and left and we're only changing the graphics so don't worry about physics and now duplicate your plane with both sides remember that's very important delete all these you don't need them anymore clear the parent alright so we have this we are going to go into edit mode open we're changing it to 2 so we'll be able to do the walk animation too. We have our two. Um, clear the IPOs if you want to, but press the X. Don't actually delete the keyframes because that will affect every object. So X, copy this over, and we are going to do our um, number three, which is our left step. Our right step. There we go. And go back to your plane. We have to name these in not the object but the material mesh name. So this is our uh, right right step. This is our left step. And if you you can duplicate this, do the same thing, or you can just name this one stand, and that will be known. And that's our stand one. 
Alright, so add two 